this video I'm going to talk about the crossover temperature. The crossover temperature is the temperature at which the sign of Gibbs free energy changes. Keyword sign. In other words, it's the temperature at which a reaction goes from being spontaneous to non-spontaneous or vice versa. So from non-spontaneous to spontaneous, from spontaneous to non-spontaneous. There has to be a change between them. So we know we have two different cases. The reaction could be in equilibrium in which our delta G is equal to zero. If the delta G is more than zero, it becomes spontaneous. If it's less, it's non-spontaneous. Meaning that this right here is negative and this is positive, delta G. So delta G can be considered, delta G equals zero can be considered the boundary that separates a reaction from being spontaneous or from non-spontaneous. So the crossover temperature is the temperature that will tell you when this boundary can be passed, at what temperature. So now let's see how we can calculate that. So we consider delta G equals zero our boundary, meaning we're going to use that delta G equals zero to find our temperature. So from our formula, delta G for system is equal to the change in enthalpy for the system minus temperature and the change in entropy. So we're going to say that this right here is equal to zero. Then we can solve for temperature and find out that that formula would tell us that's just the division between the enthalpy and the entropy. This is the formula for the crossover temperature. So now let's solve a problem. I'm going to use numbers from a problem I, I used before. So I solved this problem when I was doing the video on how to obtain the Gibbs free energy when using enthalpy and entropy values. And we obtained these two numbers for the delta H and delta S. The question is over what range, what temperature range is this reaction spontaneous? So whenever you read something like that, you always have to think of crossover temperature because that's what's going to tell you where that boundary is going to be. So we're going to divide the delta H over the delta S, so negative 61.16 kilojoules over negative 0 0.2216 kilojoules over Kelvin. And that's going to give us a value in Kelvin. And that is 276 Kelvin. That is our result. That temperature is going to tell you the difference between some uh, the, if the reaction is spontaneous or non-spontaneous. So let's say you had 277 and 275. Those two reactions would be at spontaneous and non-spontaneous. Now here is the tricky part. You want to know if the reaction is going to, to be spontaneous when it's lower than 276 or when it's higher than 276. So that makes a big difference. You have to find out which it is. When the entropy and the enthalpy have the same sign, the reaction is going to be temperature dependent. When they have different signs, that the crossover temperature doesn't apply because the reaction is going to be either always spontaneous at all temperature or always non-spontaneous at all temperature. So right now, they have they both have negative signs, so this is temperature dependent. And we need to find out when it's going to be spontaneous. A really easy way to find this out is now because we know the boundary, we can just change that number and see what we get for delta G. So let's say we're going to use 300 Kelvin, that is above 276. So if we get a delta G that's positive, our reaction is going to be non-spontaneous. If we get a delta G that's negative, 
our reaction is going to be spontaneous above 276. So let's try that. Delta G is equal to negative 61.16 kilojoules minus, we're going to say 300 Kelvin times negative 0.2216 kilojoules per Kelvin. This gives us a value of delta G equal to 5.32 kilojoules. That is above zero, that's positive. And that makes this non-spontaneous. So everything above 276 is non-spontaneous, meaning everything lower than 276 is spontaneous. So the range for spontaneous is anything less than 276. This is our answer. Spontaneous went less than 276 Kelvin. So that's it for crossover temperature. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one.